Next up, we're going to have um, Alana Greer from the Community Justice Project. Uh, Alana from the Community Justice Project. We're lawyers, and, and um, the reality is you don't call a lawyer unless you have a problem. And what we saw after the hurricane was that if neighbor, neighborhoods weren't involved in either the planning or the response to the solution, more problems were created by our response than solutions whether it was elders and families who had to sleep in the parking lot in Alapata, residents in Liberty City who saw 15 feet of trash in their neighborhood, um, or uh, workers who had wages stolen from them in the disaster recovery process. Um, we know that we can do things better, that there's an opportunity right now to bring our communities to the table, to have a say in what the plan is going forward, not only for recovering from Irma, but preparing for what's to come. Uh, the state of Florida has received over $600 million to recover from Irma and housing. And it's vital uh, in these meetings that we're, not, that we're talking about the future and talking about how we make sure those resources are going to renters. They're going to black and brown communities. They're going to those who are most impacted by these storms and most impacted by the disinvestment that's happened for generations. Um, and together, if we come together in these meetings and work together, we really think we have a shot at making that happen. Thank you very much.